Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who also flips furniture on the side. And I am on a journey to pay off my student loans using the money that I earn from flipping furniture. Today we are gonna be flipping this mid-century modern green velvet chair. So I also see this green chair right here. It's velvet, it's kind of like another one that I've done before. It has the legs down here, mid-century modern legs. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that one too. It's $14.99, but I'm gonna see if they might go a little lower for me. Yeah, that's fine. And we talked them down to 10, so it was a pretty cheap find, and we're ready to make some awesome profit. First thing is first, I made sure that I'm not going to be putting the chair directly on the cement so I laid some towels down to protect the fabric of the chair when I flip it over. We're going to get started getting this skirt off. Alright, so you may be asking yourself why is she flipping this chair, what does it do? why does it sell for a big profit and the reason that it's selling for a big profit right now is because of this right here the legs underneath the skirt the mid-century retro feeling chairs are coming back into style and people are on the lookout for them whenever you find a velvet chair underneath is gonna be some type of legs or a swivel rocker now i personally like the legs better but some people, as you've seen before, I've found that they like the swivel rocker as well. So whichever one you can find, velvet really sells well. I always like to get started by pushing my scissors through and just kind of starting by yanking like that. As you can see under here, they're stapled on. So what you're going to do is release the staples by yanking the skirt off but being careful not to rip any holes in it. I've found some chairs are easier than others. This one, knock on wood, looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy one to get off. And now that the skirt is off, our next step is to take my Bissell vacuum and give it a deep clean. That way the next person who has it knows that it was cleaned. I've got my Bissell vacuum. It's just like a little, little spot cleaner, but you just fill this side up with some clean water and then you add in some cleaner and then I plug it in, spray the chair, and use this little guy to suck all of the dirt and gunk out of the chair and then it will be clean. Time for the cushions now that the chair is all cleaned up. So we're gonna lean those up there, let those dry while also Mr. Chair is drying over here. Those will need to dry before I do any pictures and then I will stage, take photos, and post. And if you see any of this darker stuff, that's just kind of the way the fabric is. Depends on which way you um, go up or down. So 
if you see that it's a little darker it's not dirty that's just the way that the fabric kind of goes disclaimer and then also i'm gonna go around and there are some stringy pieces that are hanging down and i will also disclose this hole there's a slight slight hole like you can barely even see it um, but when i do list it i will make sure that i put that hole in there just to be transparent and so that they aren't caught off guard. We'll let that dry and then stage for photos here in a little bit. So while this chair is drying, I just wanted to take a pause and talk with you guys about these flips. These chairs are one of my favorites. If I don't want to pick up a paintbrush and I just want a quick easy flip on the weekend or even after school one day, these chairs are perfect because I just timed myself. Ripping off the skirt and cleaning this chair took me 51 minutes. So not a huge time investment. I can do it in one evening. That is one reason why I just love these. And they also have huge profit margins. So that helps as well with paying off that student loan debt. I am planning to list this chair at around 180 and the reason that I'm going to go a little bit higher is because I'm still getting a lot of interest with the chairs at that 150 mark so I'm going to go ahead and up that price just a little bit maybe even a little more than 180 see if I can hang on try your guys's method at holding tight to my five days on marketplace so I'm really going to try and get a little bit more profit out of this chair see if holding on to it a little bit longer helps me get that top dollar and I will let you know what I end up selling it for I let that dry overnight I love these chairs you guys like I really want to keep this for myself so that's another reason why I kind of price higher because if I don't end up getting what I want these chairs are one of my favorite and I will one day have a collection of them in my house So I ended up listing the green chair for $195 over on Facebook Marketplace. And the reason I went a little bit higher than I normally do on these chairs is because I truly wouldn't have minded keeping it for myself. Well, in the end, someone ended up wanting it. So I had several offers, a couple lowballed me, and one person finally came through and offered me that $195. They drove two hours the next day, so I did make sure to get a Venmo hold and she just Venmoed me the entire amount. And she came midday the next day and got it out of here. I bought the chair for $10. I sold it for $195, so that is $185 profit, and that is also $185 toward my student loan debt. A lot of you guys have been asking about these red chairs that you've seen in several of my videos. They've been in the background, they've been sitting over there for about two months, and I finally worked up the courage to do them. So. We're gonna have a second flip for you in this same video. So the reason that I have taken forever to do these chairs is because I really had to work up the courage to get them done because they're not the chairs that I usually go for, but when I was at the thrift store and I saw them, I truly couldn't pass them up, especially for the price we got them at. There's two ugly of these chairs. The ones that fall apart? This one there and the one over there. Okay. So they're going to pay $9.99 for the both of them. Okay. okay. See, my mom, she's the haggler for me if she's with me. They just think these chairs are real ugly. We just got them for 10 bucks for two of them. So, as you saw, we got them for a great price. Underneath these, they actually came with these golden wheels but at the thrift store i noticed that either all of them or most of them were broken so i knew right away that i was gonna have to replace those and i have seen some other youtubers jamie and sarah they've been flipping furniture also and they have a great channel go check it out they got these legs and actually i have a local menards here in nebraska as well so i went there got some legs i'm gonna stain these spray paint the bottoms gold and then we're gonna attach them onto the bottom here 
of all four corners of both chairs and then I'm going to clean them up with a vacuum and then that's all it's really going to take to get these guys listed on Facebook Marketplace. So what I'm going to do before I stain them is just tape off the rounded um, silver part down here so that I don't get any stain on there and then I'm going to stain it with some dark walnut. As always, you have to make sure to protect the fabric. So I've got some towels down on the ground. It looks like the back ones have brackets that I need my drill for, but the front ones, hopefully I can just yank out because there's no screws or anything, so. We got all of the golden wheels off, so next step is to grab my Bissell vacuum and get to cleaning. Perfect timing. It just filled up with dirty water again, but I just finished up. So now I'm going to let these dry and it looks like the legs are dry also. And so I'm going to spray the bottom part gold. Gotta do it. Usually I let these set outside to dry so that it doesn't get so fumey in here, but it's snowing, so I don't want to get the wood all wet. So I did a quick spray paint. Might have to go back and touch some up later. We're going to let them dry inside this time. So while the gold is drying, I'm just going to lay them down here. Then I'm going to screw the brackets on so that when they're dry, all we have to do is screw the lights in. I just kind of tested and felt the gold and it's actually like already dry. I am going to go ahead and take the tape off and then screw them in the bottom and set the chair up. All right, here comes. I'm gonna set it up and see. It's a little wobbly, so we might have to figure that out. I don't know, how does it look? Definitely looks better. All right, well, we're gonna move this one over and get the other one done. Number two. I am tightening the legs because when I put them up on them, they kind of wobble back and forth. So we're trying to figure out a solution for that. Okay, so what we are actually doing to get these level because they're wobbling back and forth is we just are adding a little shim between one of the corners of the uneven legs and attaching it to the wood and then screwing the leg into that and then it's making it level. So it's just a little bit off center, but this is just a quick fix that my dad thought of.
Ride him, cowboy. All right, so we are good. We got them to be not wobbly anymore. I am literally shocked right now. I just posted that 40 minutes ago and someone messaged me and said, are these available? Can I Venmo you right now? And I will pick up next week when the storms subside. I said yes and they sent me a Venmo right away and I'm just so mind blown that it happened so quick. These chairs were a risk for me because I just didn't know they're different than anything that I've ever done before. And I'm so thankful that they went right away. So I got these chairs both together for $10 at the thrift store. And then I bought the legs and the brackets all for around $35. So that's $45 in on these chairs. And then selling them for $225 means that I got a profit of $180 on these chairs. That means that I get to put $180 right toward my student loan debt. Along with the $185 that I made from the green chair earlier, so put that together and that is $365 that I am putting straight on my student loan debt from these chairs. This is why I like these chairs so much. Again, these were different, but that just shows you that like different unique chairs are selling and that people are interested in them. So go out, find the chairs, flip them, sell them. They're easy and they make great profit. So if you're interested in seeing more flips like these, chairs, crazy chairs, or me painting furniture, be sure to subscribe below to follow along the journey of me paying off my student loan debt. Would you have bought these chairs? Comment down below. Let me know what you think of them. They're kind of risky, but they sold. So be sure to also go over and follow me on Instagram at Furniture Flipping Teacher. And I'll see you on the flip side.